good morning, welcome back. Um, I don't remember what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, it's a rim world. I just recently managed to get some turrets built. We did this massive thing where we went out looking for steel, and that went well. Um, the only thing is, I had I did go under attack, and I had like this whole colony arrive, and I don't really need them to be here. Which is a little unfortunate. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. I came back and I dropped down everything. A lot of chickens. Um, okay. So, I do need to start getting some more building and shit done. So, I'm going to start allowing this. Because I think this is all just wood. From memory. Uh, yeah, just allow everything. We'll see what we can build. I think it's wood. Um, I might have to turn the fan on. Azula has decided that 10 a.m. is exactly when she's going to poop. And because of the layout of the house, it just wafts straight down into my computer room. Instead of, like, venting out through the window that it has. So, I might have to do something about that. But, uh, yeah. I'll pen on clothes, that's right. I hate that it doesn't show you where it's not enclosed. It just shows you that it is not enclosed. Look, you can do that. I don't give two fucks if that's what you're going to do. But how's about... Do I have anybody that could possibly work on this? Need materials. How's about... One of you guys are so adept at this. Just get your cheeks up here. I don't give a Flying fuck who's roaming away. You're literally barring me from being able to select a person. So let's just wait a minute. Salute these fuckwits. Um, now get your ass cheeks up here. I don't give a fuck who. Cut some goddamn, goddamn fucking trees. And let's get started. I don't give a shit if you've got no leg. You're getting up here. This little... Bitch of a fucking mufflo is in here. I don't know if I'm assuming this is my cow. I assume it's all panicked because of what's going on. Lucky if it doesn't just fuck right off. Hmm. Small duck. Okay. When they get up here, we'll be able to do something about that, and it's full, so. I really want these areas to probably stop regrowing, but just not the ones that are in a harvestable winter thing. These ones can stop. Um, I think it's only this one. This is cut in two. Oh, okay, it's just not even there. Okay, look, Tofu's up here, finally doing something. Look, when you're done with that, we'll get on this. Uh, yeah, we'll be done cutting that. Come on. Knowing Tofu is probably going to run off with the wood, like somewhere else. Okay, it's just like a great timing. Go do it. Now, unfortunately, I've got this lock here. This was a strawberry area, so I copy it though. Not really. Shame. Okay, so you lot, I need you to be strawberries. I need you not to be that at the moment. I just need somebody to get the cheeks out here and do some harvesting. Now, these areas are gonna stay, and I'm gonna see how they go over winter. I need to probably start cracking on for this. Bring them up to warmth. Not one of them. In here it is. But I haven't seen anybody actually do any harvesting in here, but maybe they will during winter. I can only hope. They all have two, although I've got rolling blackouts at the moment. I'm not sure what that's about. Got turrets being made everywhere. Soon I'll have this all fixed up. You get to the point where probably the only safe spot for an enemy to come in will be on like a corner or some shit, you know? What are you doing, buddy? Mm -hmm. 
also reducing him. That's all right. Um, also, I have some mecha thingies here that can give me some bits and pieces. Not what you do. I think it's what these ones do. Yeah, smash mechanoids. I don't know if it gives them the same amount or not. I assume it probably doesn't. Who knows? Eventually I'll fix this up. I feel like it's been ages trying to get this fixed up. And I feel like it hasn't bothered it yet. What are you lot doing in there? I feel like I'm breaking up a bill or something. Yeah, no, it's, it was a good 
Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I had heaps of fun. Um, also, Tora, I'll put up some photos maybe later today or tomorrow of um, as well as the cat and mouse that arrived. Arrived over the last couple of days, I was asleep for like a couple of days there. But yeah, um, both cats were quite interesting how they reacted with it. Now, I've got no idea where this was going, so I'm just going to sit at home. If it was going out, put on it, but I just don't remember. Um, if it was going out, it's probably not that important, honestly. I'm just coming home, it's got a mask work stuff on it, that's fine. Yeah, I know the, the um, cat baby stuff uh, arrived yesterday, and so I like dished it out, obviously, into the mouse and um, both cats had like so much smelling to do about it. It was pretty cute. And they were just like, what is this? What is this thing? And then eventually I ended up swimming it out and if it's all while she was trying to lay down, which prompted her to end up over frisky. So then she ended up like rolling around and licking and biting it and like roughing it up and stuff. She hasn't managed to tear it open to the cat and stuff yet though, but I know she'll get there. My biggest concern is that she has this habit where she really likes to um her toys in water and like leave it. And my only concern is that she's going to catnip tea the um, water and it, like, it'll be too late before I get to it and one of the cats is going to be high out of their fucking mind. So I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I'm just keeping an eye on where it is throughout the house. Um, I'll probably try to put up some photos later of that because it's pretty cute. Especially when she ended up passing out and she snuggled it, like she cuddled it to fall asleep. It was pretty cute. Um, yeah. Uh, fun is where it goes. Look, I am considering brewing them a little like cat tea, seeing how that goes down. I suppose if you gotta like brew it and let it chill and then like let them drink it. But they've never had it before because, like, I swear all the cat stuff I've ever got before in the past has been weak sauce. And, like, some cats react to it and some cats. I know that my old cat, Honey, she used to not even respond to it. It's like it wasn't even there. It, Phoenix used to end up more risky. But by the look of it, it's all I don't know. She, she definitely gets like momentarily wired and she gets sleepy. That's kind of interesting. I'll definitely keep watching that. But it was very cute. Hey, James Games. I saw your um, post this morning and falling down the stairs on the um, aeroplane or falling up the stairs. That was pretty funny. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I'm not sure if you put it up like this morning or during the night, but I saw it this morning for me. I thought it was funny. I'm still also trying to move all this stuff over, which I've got all this over. I can't stop yawning. Oh my god. If I don't stop yawning, I'm going to have to make a fucking coffee. I'm like literally trying to shake the yawns out of my face because it was stop happening. Yeah, falling up my stairs. To be honest, I did see um, Matt Pat's video last night, which was pretty funny about how um, which president would have been the best gamer and stuff based on all these AR, AI headset things that they're doing now. And I'm like, some of it was pretty funny. And it made me wish that I've watched some of it recently. Like the people like trash talking and stuff. It was pretty funny. Because I don't really follow like history and um, politics and stuff like that, but it was pretty funny. Um, Vail Blood Hellform. I don't have the, um, you call them the new dozy stuff. Um, I don't know why, I just can't remember what it is is specifically but yeah I can't. Um is that what the fuck is going on with this wall? I feel like something's wrong there. It, it probably is. If I feel like it's wrong, it's probably wrong. Um Abraham like see now that's what I was thinking they would have gone with, but it was actually um uh Garfield. Um I can't remember his full name, but yeah apparently he would have been the best based on Intelligence and reaction time and all that sort of stuff. Just nobody has any um, recordings of him. So once I get on that, 
Kaczynski. Yeah, him. Um, Esme has experienced some inspiration. Yeah, that's what they said. That's what they worked it out. So apparently, role intelligence and reaction times and stuff like that. He would have made a fantastic gamer if games had existed in his time. That was interesting. I said, it's not really, not really my kind of thing to watch, but at the same time, I can appreciate the novelty of, like, you know, that kind of stuff, I guess. Um, everybody's kind of doing okay here. Also, as far as, like, caffeine and pills and stuff go, see, I used to get, um, what's wrong with this one? Oh, it's dead. All right. Um, I used to get, uh, what did I get? Uh, what do you call them? Coffee beans in, like, chocolate and stuff like that. And, yeah, they're snacking on just that. And I don't allow myself to have that anymore because I couldn't, I physically could not differentiate between this is clearly a snack versus this is going to keep me awake for six to eight hours. And just my body would not let me, like, not snack on them. I don't know. It's a willpower thing, I think. Uh, six named James. I wouldn't be surprised. I was surprised that there's like 47 or something of them to begin with. I'm like, that's interesting. Because I don't do history and I don't really do politics and stuff. So that being both is kind of like out of my depth. Of, you know, that's not really getting committed to memory. But at the same time, it was just interesting to watch. Right now, in this moment, I don't really know more about the US presidents than I know about my own presidents and all that shit. So I honestly couldn't tell you who's doing what at the moment. Uh, let's see, we have Trev. Trev's uh, West Bend Farm, and he sent us a message apparently to try to be by camp and raid the caravans, and the camp is controlled by Great Fox Caro. Alright, well, there's 13 people. I don't really need a bionic arm yet. This don't need silver long swords that are legendary because that's just asking to be attacked. So I could like smell that down. Mm-hmm. I'm already kind of goodwill with them. A few more trades we can you know, get it done. I'd almost say like maybe this stuff. I reckon I get attacked coming home from this for sure. Holy fuck, the yawns. I haven't even been, I haven't been live for like more than 18, 20 minutes. And I'm legitimately yawned like every two minutes. That's a big one. I'm going to move some of these animals out here soon. God, because it's becoming like too much. This is all closed off. My only problem is I'm waiting. Zoom out a little bit. Let's scroll. I'm waiting for them to finish filling in this area. And the biggest problem I've got is I don't have a lot of wood. And it's supposed to be able to get it to here. Not obviously enclosed yet. Uh, sorry. I know that they are. Um, like I said, if I keep yawning, I'll have to throw up a five minute break and literally go get coffee, even though that's my own problem for not, um, not organizing myself better this morning. What am I looking for? I'm looking for harvest. Holy crap. There we go. Uh, what is slavery in August harvesting? I don't really do that, actually. Um, I have one of my best friends literally plays this where it's like 90% slave labor. And, you know, literally just like as soon as they get a person, they rip out their tongue and their legs and stuff like that so they can't riot and can't leave and stuff like that. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. This is you know, terrifying. Um, me, you know, I try to make I try to make a nice prison. Like eventually, it'll be there at the moment it's pretty shit. But I try to make a nice prison establishment that's pretty and enticing. I try to have like lots of people, um, which in itself is a nightmare at times. Um, every time I organ harvest any one person, even if it's a prisoner or somebody that like legit deserved it, they just absolutely lose their shit for ages, and it takes so long. Um, to ever like get them back up, is to get them. What's they have stuff past status? Jesus. Yeah, no, I try to take everybody, and like you'll see occasionally. Like remember Bishop? Bishop was really pushing my buttons. Like if I had to kill 
bishop in the early game, it probably would have been a lot easier. Uh, but I didn't, and that was my fault. Pursuing that guy, because he ended up slaughtering an animal, which was kind of bullshit. Um, I'm not sure what animal I'm taking out of here first, but I think all the, like, you know, Avery sort of creatures might be a good idea. I have a lot of chickens. And this pen, she you see, is really stable for this. Also, I would like to try some nutrient paste stuff. Jesus. Oh man. Mind you, silver is like pretty valuable in here. I will eventually need that to make sterile floors for hospital and kitchens and stuff. Right now they're doing like fuck roll. Metal breaks. Jesus Christ, you're not wrong with that one. Like, you know my last space, right? You saw it. Just that the constant one after another because they beat each other up or I'd make them beat each other up it's like a consequence of fucking around and then they'd be like oh I'm sore so I'm going to have a new mental break I'm going to get extra shit about it. and it's like well I'd have a mental break in the first place I wouldn't be kicking your ass if you wouldn't be sore you wouldn't be having a mental break so you can't kind of see the stuff that's going um yeah because of the glorious leader of rule um see I like I don't know if Many of my people got it. Let's zoom out and see if I can find one that's got it. Um, okay, that's not going to tell me shit. I was hoping that maybe I could click on them. But see these psychic shop glances? I got very lucky finding one that did have this. See, I used to have it that almost everybody had one of these. And the idea was that whenever somebody had a mental break, I could stack them with that. They'd go down, they'd be over to for a while. If they were sore or needed something, they'd get tended to in hospital. And by the time they're done with that, they come back, it'll be fine. The problem that I've got is that I don't have a lot of them. And as a large colony, is what I'm trying to have is a very large colony, it's not very beneficial to have like fuck one of them over other necessities, like having the silver to build turrets. I've got a few turrets now. Not all of them. Let's see if I can zoom in and get most of them. The ones up there. And then yeah, eventually I'll start going down the sides as well. Um, I don't have any DLCs actually. This, I, I even only have a couple of mods. Um, hold on, where's my mod sheet? I've got. the fuck is it? Come back here. Not done with you yet. Come back here. I've got uh, EDB prepared carefully, wild reproduction. Rubble inventory, hugs live, harmony, and deep stack. Pressure sure hugs live in harmony, both require to have um, them to have them all work together. Um, oh, thank you. I am going for some more unusual shapes this time. I'm trying to make these look more like they're like leaning outwards. And whatever's going on up here, it's my places. This is based on one of my old designs. And it's a toss up between this and one that's very similar, but there's no actual line here. And it all kind of makes it a bit bigger, but I don't need that right now. Um, the local region. Yeah, see, that's something I haven't done either. It's I know for a fact that some people, what they do is they like branch out and they'll defeat these and take them over and stuff, get rid of them. But they don't actually bother me that much. It does make it a little bit spicier when I go off for a trade. Because from my perspective, I don't know I'm going to get attacked. I probably will be. I'm going to speed them up a bit. I don't want to lose all of the fall. I did see wherever it was here. They are starting to plant out the winter areas. This isn't finished yet. Probably why it's on close. Security experiment. Who is roaming and why? Why is the fence down? Uh... Nice to raid other villages for resources. Like I said, I just haven't done it. I've tried a couple of times, I haven't got very far here. This is where it is. Um, okay, look. Relax socially. Can you cut a tree down? You can. Well, that's the other thing, too, is I do like taking prisoners. I'm pretty sure that's my runner. Here it is. Um, I like taking prisoners and stuff like that, but some of the places that you go to are just shit farms, honestly. Like, the pirate place is usually, like, everybody's, like, out of 
something, chemical interest, this chemical interest, that, and they're just like ready to just go at it for any reason. Um, I can execute them as well, but you have to do it within a set period of time. Otherwise, um, people get pissed about killing, like, what do you, what do you call it? Um, killing innocent prisoners is what they call it. Which is really frustrating because I've got a prisoner at the moment and I wouldn't kill him, for example. But I know that he's somewhere on here. It says that he's not, he's not innocent anymore or he's not whatever it is. I don't know what it says. I never look for it anymore. There are billions of different materials that have meant different prisoners, but you have to pull a lot. Well, that's the thing, is if I want to throw down a um, hauling squad, like, I... Pause for a second. Well, um, Marlowe's horses, alpacas, donkeys. That's 58 yaks. It's 62. I've got about 62 hauling animals at the moment. Which isn't too bad. It's not a lot, but it's it's still a lot. But like if I was gonna throw it in a caravan, that's probably about four or six grams worth of like hauling space. Um just throwing the local pirate thread. I don't know. I don't mind that pirate thread. Keeps things spicy. I'm still trying to fix this shit up. Honestly. Anybody that wasn't here and didn't witness it, so I built this base. Initially, I noticed that this area was off by like one or something. So I fixed it all up and I moved it all over. And after building these, it occurred to me that this and that were not actually in the same space as that. So I've had to move this over by two, the entire building structure over by two squares, which has been really frustrating because I can't, like, I obviously am not finished building this yet. A lot of these little rooms are going to be bedrooms and stuff. I kind of want to have something mirrored like it down here. I'm either going to do it exactly mirrored or I'm going to make the alternative looking one. I'm not sure which yet. Depends what I need at the time. I'll see how I go. But yeah, I've made a second pen as well. I'm kind of waiting for that to finish so that I can throw all the fucking chickens and shit in there. Maybe the guinea pigs and stuff, you know? Um, just so I have some more space because there is so much food in this area. I haven't even put a pen marker in here yet. I don't think. No, I haven't because it would just go off constantly. Um, to be back with me, genocide. Like, I only have one video so far of me completely decimating my entire colony. And they had it coming. Let's not, let's not be mistaken about that. They fucking had it coming. Um, yeah, if you are actually heading off, like, you know. Yeah, I'll see you next time then. Um, I've almost got the coast. I know that the areas aren't going to give me the most area to grow in. There's not much I can do about it. It's just these little sections in here that are dark green. It's going to give me extra goodness. New people, I'll get your bed sorted out soon. All right. I need to look all crappy about it. Crappy in ways that I could only assume is related to the bedding situation. Don't get runner. So, I've almost got this down. I need a door there. The door's fine. These beds I'm going to have to move around, but I'm getting there. And I'm thinking your bed's going, your door's going there. Alright. Not so much as cold and minimal. Alright, so this is supposed to be the actual shape. I think what it is that looks wrong is the outline just above it that's not right. I'm not going to go about that yet. Um, no, that isn't right either because it's supposed to come down by here, eh? Hey? Okie dokie. Well, I will get that fixed up. Um, I will in a sec. Just bear with me. I just want to see that this is coming all together right. Because I've been constantly moving stuff around trying to move these, like, shift them over a little bit, and I don't know what it is, but some days I legitimately just can't even do that, so, let's get this, yeah, there we go, alright, I can sit there, master work, uh, blend like duster, alright, so, I'll go up to, like, the top of the quadrant area, which I'll also just smack out some animals while I'm here, 
for the nurses who heard panels. Um, yeah, so I kind of have like each section, each quarter has their own power grid, which is why some sections have got falling blackouts at the moment. Just you know, very, very minimalistic sort of stuff. This is new. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with it yet, but what I am hoping to sort of do is all of these stations down here is to kind of give them an individual room. Like I've got the cooking, I've got butchering. Um, I'll probably do the same for like, you know, researching or crafting or whatever, right? All these are supposed to be bedrooms. Um, so they're all going to get a double bedroom in each. So that's going to really fill out the population very nicely. I'm going to play around with colours. Like I think these are green and blue and white and red and stuff. I'm going to play with colours, see what happens. I know I can read purple very easily in this game. It looks really nice. So I might do that again. This area, I'm not sure what I'm going to turn into. I'm guessing maybe like a dining hall, a big dining hall, or something like that. Either that or a secondary storage area. Like I said, I'm not sure. Um, just because I don't like the fact that I've got every kind of like food and stuff in here. But the batteries will stay up and around these two centered ones. Because basically, like, they've got two sections per slide kind of thing. And this section down here is really struggling because I do not yet have geothermal power. And I am starting to bring in the sun lamps, which of course drawing quite a lot of power. Unfortunately, it's too much for what I have here. Which, by the way, I've still got the equal amount. Even though that looks slightly more, it's actually the same amount for all sides. Um, this will be where that next pyramid thing is going to be, or diamond thing is going to be put in. Obviously, got some more. Um, growing areas. These are all new. I haven't really finished these properly. Um, just, this will be coming to my first winter where I actually have crops growing in winter, so I'm going to see how that goes. We've got our hospital and rec room down here. We've got a big ass hospital with little storage areas all around the place so that there's heaps of like accessible medical stuff at all times. Then we got um, I am working on better beds, but we've got excellent masterworks and all sorts of stuff in here eventually. Um, the rec room has been moved over slightly, so that's a bit janky looking at the moment. But I'll upgrade all this stuff into like stone and marble and stuff like that over time. I think they'll look nice, make them happy and stuff. I've got two presents which are these, but they need to move over and down. And I think this one's going to go over and down. But this one has been moved down and over so far. I'm just still building some of it. But yeah, I'm going for like an outer ring to one colour, you know, sort of colour. Um, and then each section will be its own prison. So basically, this one circle is four prisons. Um, and same with here will be four. So I'll have eight individual prisons, able to hold probably two, two or so people per prison. So hopefully riots and breakouts and stuff like that won't happen as much. Um, then moving up here, I do have like a general kind of like stockpile of dumping stuff like stones. Um, I do have wood here, but I don't have any at the moment. I've got like stone blocks and all sorts of stuff. And then we've got, um, oh, stuck at Um We've got the two new crop areas, which I've not finished building yet. I'm very, very concerned when I finish this part here that some of the skulls going to get stuck in there. Because that's what my people love to do. Um, I obviously have heaps of animals. I know it's hard to see now that it's night time. I don't have a lot of light. I complain about that all the time. But I don't have a lot of light. I've got a couple of harvesty areas for the animals. I've got to help them through spring and stuff like that so I don't have to take as much food down into my storage. Yeah, another corner of electricity and stuff in the pen. But yeah, up here, they have one of these mirrored down into the other pen down the bottom too. But this is kind of like just a stockpile zone for the animals where I can put like fresh foods. It's refrigerated and, you know, the animals can come in here and they can either rest in here if it's a heat wave in summer or they can chill out and grab some food and go back out to whatever they're doing, you know. So it's pretty well set so far. Um, I have used probably the majority of the map, which I do spread out, but I don't usually spread out to this, this extent. Like, I don't usually put stuff all the way to the corners right from the get-go. Um, Norman has proposed a lifelong commitment to Gabriella, and she's rejected the 
proposal. I've also started to make these turrets too, which are only really very new and have required quite a lot of like silver and um, steel and stuff. I mean, still. Um, pretty much an exception to the most distorted colonies. Yeah, see, a lot of people have, and I've, I've had a few comments about this where people fall into the same design that they know the size room works good for a kitchen, the size room works good for a prison, and they just kind of like tetris it together really close as possible because in the real world, efficiency is obviously key for getting a lot of shit done. So, what I used to try to do is I used to try to have a lot of like the bedrooms on the outer sort of area. So, if they come in late from like, you know, past outside, they come straight to the bedroom. Then, in the morning, they come into food and socializing and stuff, and then you go back out to wherever they've gone. And it's kind of like a one, one directional kind of objective kind of thing. Whereas at the moment, I've got these all this space out everywhere. And at the moment, I've got all this like working area. So unfortunately, this some of it is still a mess, and this is really far away for them to relax and stuff like that. But I'm working on it. Eventually, I'll get there. Like I could have done with, I could have done with like a variety of different designs. I've had one that's like been a poke ball, um, a turtle, some sort of like stars, all sorts of stuff. I just like changing it. I do enjoy making things as much as they're really hard to fuck around with because as soon as you want to do like an area like that, you're dealing with a square and not a triangle and you can't really do lines in this game going down in, in you know, diagonal. So it makes it challenging, especially when I have to mirror this because I was going off a plan for most of this and I started winging it. So when I try to mirror it down the bottom, it's not going to be exactly the same. It's going to take a lot of mental capacity to to double this one over. But I'm over. I also keep a lot of animals, generally speaking, I always do. Um, it's a preference, really. And like, especially because it's like hauling animals and stuff, like obviously, I'm at the top here at the moment. Whoever I come in with, like the cats, they're a protected species. Like, as soon as you fuck with one of my main cats, you're just asking for a really painful death. Same with any of like the ones that have got given a name. Obviously it all bonded. Um and then obviously like I've got a fuck ton of chickens and hens and turkeys and all sorts of stuff. Mostly those are all like your your meat animals and stuff like that. Yeah, well herd revenge, but it's like a full colony goes after you. Um I'm also still training people or animals I should say. Still training the animals up because I lost a few. I'm trying to train out more the females than the males because the females, once they're an adult, they'll reproduce pretty frequently and you just get like extra meat. Um, so it's worth like having like a fleet of uh, female attack panthers. And I'm still getting up my rhino numbers, so that would definitely help. You get full, full medical way in this base, like whatever they need to get it. Like I'll freaking go out of my way to find them, like, um, what do you call it? Uh, what are those attachments and stuff you get for like when you'd like pass her along or something like that? I can't remember the word. My brain's been good today. Um, I have somebody that's a bulk goods trader coming in. So that would be cool. Where is. Where's. Um, where's Corpsey? Where's the trader? Corpsey should. It's either Corpsey or somebody up there that's good for trading. I haven't drink this. Closing your lid back on me. Okay, I'm trying to drink water and then it's just like, nope. Lols. And just like, put close the lid back up on me. Alright. Grow fields of grass. Suck the weeds with the zone over individual squares. The animals will clear all the weeds, eventually leaving in the fields of grass. I have ended up with them um, eating like a lot of like, the plants and stuff in an area, but what they end up doing is they just end up like decimating it down to if you remember I don't have any mobs either, so basically all they do is they get rid of everything down to dirt. And I have end, ended up with packs of just pure dirt a few times over. I I can take like some pemmicans and stuff. I don't really need a huge amount of food going into winter, but I'll see what I can take. Especially 
these people are interested in wood in any capacity. They are. Unfortunately, I actually need my wood once. So I'll just sell them crappy shirts. Um, anything that's kind of been worn a little bit, maybe they've got a problem with. They will put it on if there's no better choice, but I know it's easier just to sell it off. Okay, pretty good. They give me a lot of money. Give that talk. Might work. It might be only to choose over that they can wear those too. Um, Evil strand. Like these are all good stuff, but I don't need it. Um, I might just take that and some like, meat. It'll be fine. I don't. I don't really need to trade for all that stuff, but I mean, I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity. Yes, yeah, so when it comes to growing, if I go up to one of these gravel fields, like kind of crops that I've got a choice of, like I can do hay grass. That's one that I can do. Um. My only problem with that is if I have too big of an area, people won't necessarily come out and keep it all sown and it'll die off in winter. So then they end up spending time replanting it, which is really frustrating. And for some reason, it says that these animals eat hay grass, but I can tell you what, when off the choice, they don't fucking eat hay grass. And I don't know what the problem with that is, but that happens. I've tried doing dandelions, I've done some flowers in places. Um, supposedly, they like it, they like the look of it, but it doesn't do much else than that. I have gone full drug fields before and made a shit ton of money off that. However, I had several instances where all the cats were absolutely wasted at entire times of the day on liquor. Um, and then I had the thrombos coming into chem fuel at the same time as what else was fucking. I think I had my herd animals and stuff getting into all the psychoid leaf plants and stuff. Um, so that was, that was a wild ride, that one. That was the, I have to keep them out of this area, learning curve. Because apparently if you let your thrombos in here and it's got freaking fuel in it, they, they just let themselves go high on that all the time. I have, I have entertainment stuff in here for them, I didn't even notice. Um... One up there, is there a problem? Is it because there's a tree? You can put it there. And we'll put one more down here. I know that putting the TV in the hospitals and stuff do make them recover a bit better. I actually bought two of these for the purpose of the rec room. So I'm thinking, because there's the dissenters roughly back here, I never get anything perfect with this being like off centered and stuff. But I mean, I'll try. There's gonna be a pillar right there, so that's a problem. Mm -hmm. It's up there to have more room. Maybe. I could just move these pillars around. That'll work better for me. Move you up by one. And I could just see them rushing in here and getting rid of that before they put up another one. Because you damn well know that's what they'll do. Um, I have tried replanting plants and stuff around the place too, but I also have researched into that. Where is it? Trees? What's not drug production? Mm -hmm. I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna start. I haven't been very successful with that. Like, I have brought back some trees from different areas, but it really requires them to kind of stay on it, which is really frustrating. I kind of hope it would have been one where you need to bring it back and you plant it and it just becomes the new species in that area, but it doesn't. Not always. I wish all these extra allies that I've got milling around would kind of go away. I just have too many. Come on, I want to move this to somewhere about here. Probably. These rooms are nearly done again. Like, I am getting there. Room doesn't have a door. So that's probably a problem for them, I would imagine. Seems like it would be a problem. Okay, so floorings, so what are these floors? Slate? Like? 
Look at this. Oh, man. You know, I didn't even have a late night or anything last night either. Like, literally, after last week's stream, I ended up sleeping Saturday night. I ended up having, like, an actual solid migraine, like, one of the worst ones I've had in some years. I'm not really surprised about the amount of drink, like, the amount of water I was trying to have. Um, it's not really, like, like, you know, yeah, I had that until, I ended up sleeping until Monday afternoon. Just pretty much not stop. I said, love works to kill problem with elves. I see why I can't help you fit this year. It's it can't just like the cure love around nowhere most of the time. I'm sure I can with mods. Like if Grim was here, he would be saying that there's a mod for that. Like don't get me wrong, I'm sure there is. Like I just don't have it. Um Yeah. Okay, let's get these beds where they're supposed to be. I don't want to reinstall the early spring here. We've had a cold front for burning the stove. I wish I had like a nice like stove or you know fireplace or something like that. Just I had one when I was growing up. I loved it. Great. Just like the smell and the overall warmth in the house was really nice. Um, anything is like yeah. In the area where I am now, they change the laws over the years. And the idea is you are supposed to have a stove or a fireplace. You're required to have it completely enclosed. So, like any, any real, like, woody smell or, like, fire and ash and stuff like that, all just, like, goes out of the place, which is not understandable. But a great deal of heat just fucks off out of the house too. Um, somebody's in a high mood. I've got three two. They're gonna be good for like paying animals. Yeah. So instead of having a fireplace where you light it and you're warm, you have a fireplace and you burn it for hours just to get some kind of residual radiant warmth come off the thing, and hope that it stays nice and toasty. But like, I swear the vicinity house your house is warmer to begin with. And move this over by one. One or two. Should be one, should be fine. And I like the um, fireplace I had when I was a kid. Yeah. One of those things where if you ate snacks and you're a kid and you weren't supposed to, you could burn the evidence. Nobody would be any the wiser until they're like, why is something melted in here? And you're like, look, I don't know how that got there. It's, you know, questionable even for me. See some stoves get decent heat transfer. Yeah, definitely. But I don't see a lot of like the really good ones um, being like, I guess they're not really like suburban in Australia. They're more kind of like your hinterlands and stuff like that where it is likely to get fucking cold and then they don't permit it. Yeah, rural areas are like, oh no, you might warm up your house to the point something spontaneously combust and it goes the entire suburb. Don't get me wrong, I do understand fire safety and shit to a degree. But at the same time, I'm like pretty like irritated by it. The same thing's it's hunting a cat. I'm pretty sure it's hunting that one. This thing just got itself on the um you kill list. So everybody can go attack that. Not everybody wants Oh shit, look how fast it's moving. Come on, Esme, you're a shot. Can you shoot it down? That'll do it. What a waste of that. Look, it's on fire. It's fine. No, don't, don't bother being the fire out. It's already roasting itself. Every saving you guys have your job. Can you kill this thing? Oh, no, we get rescuing it. It's 100% going to be going dead. You know? Just, look, just do that. You can get your punch on. There we go. <laughs> um... I don't know if people would go out the center of the room to metal box of heat. It's true. If there's people out there where it's really practical where you can use it for like literally cooking your food and stuff like that. 
daily as much as you are using it for heating. But if your area is not generally cold enough most of the year to require it, it is a waste. It's more of like a pleasant luxury here. Somebody's got stuff to trade. I think it takes it on off. Uh, and people are still stuck in that uh, military mode. Yeah, let's get up here. What have you got to do? Stop dodging stuff. Somebody was said, like, the whole heap of the mode is still in military mode. What's that chicken pink? I have questions. Um, if you have it, I will take it. If I can afford it, I will definitely take it. But you can make a cheesy space here for your office space here. Oh, yeah. Um, what's a cheesy heater classification? I need to know more about this. You guys should honestly see my fucking MacGyver ring that I've, um, I had a friend give me. This, um, what would you call it? You know, like an oil burner, like wax melter type thing? I think it's a wax melter. Anyway, I've given a wax melter thing, and I really like it. Don't get me wrong, I do actually really like it. And I have a huge like, little wax melt scentsy thingy to put it the love and smell of. The only problem is that the top and the bottom are not for the same device. Um, so basically, the bottom is a, is a screw on. Bottom is a plug in and the top is a screw on. So they don't fit together. So what I did is I ended up a guy ring it with some alfoil and hair tie. And it seems to work right. I've just got to hope like all hell that a simple piece nobody touches it, you know. It doesn't happen to happen because otherwise it's going to smash. But yeah, I'm I'm not above doing like basic MacGyver work like that. If it works, if it allows me to use it. The only way I was going to get a new one was if I had bought basically one of each because what would happen is apparently um, she had she bought two. She bought a screw and she bought a plug-in version. And one was for me and one was for her other friend. And she's mixed up the four boxes and managed to switch them out. And for some reason, these devices were but I had a good look around. You can't get the individual part without paying the full price for the entire unit combined. Um, so I'm like, either I'm buying two full units, get like basically two units and a spare of each, or I'm just going to like MacGyver this thing. Like, it doesn't matter. The only problem is that whoever got the other part I definitely wouldn't be able to use it the same way because the top would be too small to fit over the bottom. Therefore, like, not being able to put anything in it, which is really sucky. But I guess most people would really just go out and probably buy a, a pass or something for it instead of doing the wish that I do. I don't know. I can't speak for the majority. I'm just strange on my own. Um, let's see. Yeah, they finally finished this area because like, most of this fence is looking pretty good. Looking like just need this part here. Or well, don't you fence marker ship me? Don't do that bullshit. I want this. Does that make sense? fence? Once that's done, I think that'll be it. And I've got a pen marker over here. It's going to be in far enough that they actually walk all the herd in. Because I've done that a few times. They walk, they walk up to it, and they touch it, and all the animals connected to it just go like disappearing. Um, a bunch of people having social fights. Also, we have a lot of food on this map. I could be taking all the female doggies, but we're about to go into like winter. And I really just don't want to take in extra animals. It's already going to be bad enough. I don't really have that much food for them. But as soon as this gets built, maybe I could convince somebody that's just chilling. Go, oh, Cypress, Cypress, come back. Wasn't finished. He already had wood in his hands. I saw him like throw it down and like turn around and walk off. I'm like, no, please. See, I usually do. The only problem is some of the animals have got good fur, and they're the ones that I want to make it through because these guys have like wool growth. Horses don't. Um, the alpacas do. Yaks don't. 
there's a couple of them. These guys produce like heavy fur and stuff. And that's where I get my coats and stuff from, which reminds me to make sure that we have coats available. At the moment, they've got like an order of 10 of everything. I'm kind of okay with that, but I think let's take it up to 20. They're only allowed to use certain stuff like um, buckets can only use wools and forks can use everything but cloth. Just to get them busy again. I've had it a few times where winter comes, a lot of my animals miscarry. So I haven't slaughtered them before the winter, which is obviously my own fault. But at the same time, I've also made the mistake of not having any winter warm stuff because I've not slaughtered them at the appropriate time, which is really annoying as well. I'm going to stop all this in here, see if I can't fix up where I'm supposed to be fixing this up. Like, no, no, I don't want that. I want this and that to be something different. That. Too much going up in the edges. Yeah, okay. Then I want granite. Because for some reason I chose granite to go all the way around this. I'm not sure if I'm going up on a diagonal here. I don't know. I'm going to see what happens with this towards the end. But because it's a slightly different shape now that I've brought it in down by one, and this is indented up by one a lot higher, I'll see how it looks. That should have one there. Should it? Let's have it there. It can't honestly fucking hurt. I'll have a look at it at the end. We'll see how it looks. That one's not supposed to be. Alright. And the center part really needs to be dug out. Can you guys mind that? Other bits go. Uh, good isn't good enough. We were trying to make a couple of better sort of bits. Although I do think we were kind of just good into like prison rooms, weren't we? Like the sandstone. I don't know. Maybe I do keep them. Alright, look, I'll let you go keep your watch house beds. What are you doing with this? Can I click on that, please? That's where sometimes I forget what I'm doing between games, and I just completely forget that I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this pattern thing. I come back, and I'm like, a week later, I'm like, what was I doing with this? Here you go. Um, oh honey, that's not where that is going. Let me tell you right now. Right, so we are not having any of this stuff. I get a category maybe. I might leave chickens and stuff. I how they were trying to already take it down there, like, no. Uh, maybe go to some shit. Get some geese and not anything that the herding animal I kind of want them to all be out in that one big thing okay that should be kind of everything else I think yeah oh actually we can cows in here too yeah right that should be fine yeah take that back where you came from honey I can tell you right now, whatever you're doing is wrong. Oh shit, Franklin's on it. Um, Franklin, some of those aren't, some of those don't go down there. Franklin, nice theory. Better off a little bit more practice. Alright, and by proxy, I'll swap it at the other side, don't have the other things. So they won't have chinchillas or cows. Goats, geese, what's it going to say? It's going to move. It can move. And turkeys can move. I think that should be fine. I don't know if I set up the other pen to have turkeys. I think I did. What is that? Oh, 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 fuck no. Do I have 
that will be doing so. so. I have to like babysit every single thing that's coming this way for the next few minutes, honestly. Yeah, I've got to start with sheep. So it should be like a pretty honestly prosperous area for them. I just gotta keep on these people what they're bringing out. That group's fine. I think that should be fine now that I've selected it. Glad I fucking noticed that though. Oh, yeah, let's finish the area. Cool. Let's see if I can get that done. I know he's not out here. I can go up here and just see if you can finish this under supervision so I can tell if you trap yourself or not. That's the last thing I want is for somebody to get stuck in here. Uh, ginseng just got, just got brought in. So that's really cool. Alright, um, okay, what's your bio? No more. What's my bio, people? Uh, no drugs. We have that. Schedule. Let's see. Good, what they've been doing at the moment. Five recruitments away, you're a little bit behind the curve, eh? Kind of don't need this area. What I do want to do, because I've got my number of bed. I was trying to get a masterwork in this area, that's what I was trying to do. But look, I have beds, so I can't really complain. Turn that upside down. I 